Thank you for joining me on this tutorial on how to fully potentialize your Drupal website and make money from the start. My name is Renee C. I'm the owner of Drupal for Non-Techies or my domain name is easydrupaltutorials.com and if you are new, brand new at wondering how you can succeed with building a business online I highly recommend that you sign up for my newsletter and learn the tricks of the trade so, used, so to speak. I would highly recommend that you also bookmark this website called startuplaunchr.com and this gentleman that wrote this blog uh, really really is giving excellent advice if you just quickly read here it says most aspiring entrepreneurs ask the very question about what they should be doing when they build a business many people if they don't have any idea of starting their own business uh, they may think of building a restaurant franchise or buying a coffee shop a retail store uh, selling used books or, or used clothing or even doing multi-level marketing uh, where they're going to have to basically get some venture capital and in this economy where the banks are so tight-fisted they're not going to want to lend any money to anybody so one of the things you want to do is what can you do to start building a business with the lowest capital that's required the other thing he mentions is that if you do those kind of businesses or let's say if you were to buy a vending machine which I think is a really good business you can go ahead and uh, put these vending machines in certain you know nursing homes uh, buildings where people get a lot of traffic but someone I know actually purchased um, three thousand dollars worth of cigarettes in Costco and was followed by somebody and he stopped over at his sister's house to just do an errand in the time that he stopped over like literally five minutes these people had followed him from Costco broke into his minivan and stole three thousand bucks worth of cigarettes and inventory and so you don't have insurance to cover those kind of costs I'm not saying that's gonna happen to you but in this economy where many people are losing their jobs a hundred thousand people are losing their job every week according to the newspapers you don't want to <clears throat> take such risky startup businesses and be working 12 hours a day seven days a week and burning yourself out so maximize your chance of succeeding according to this gentleman that wrote this article and here are some of the rules that you may want to follow I'm just gonna cover three of them in this tutorial and cover the other three in the next tutorial the first one is he says you should solve a certain problem for a certain group of people so you want to figure out what your target market is for instance when I created my Drupal tu tutorials for non techies I realized that there was a population out there of people that don't know HTML, don't know PHP, don't know uh, anything about building a website. They think that they have to pay a Drupal developer $7,000 to do it, or they can hire a renter coder for a couple of thousand dollars to install Drupal for them and turn on all the necessary modules, but they still don't know how to go in and add content. So my question I raised myself was, how can I solve that problem? So I started brainstorming, and some of the ideas that came to me is, why don't I create tutorials that people can access my tutorials are so affordable that they work out to be twelve dollars a week you get le uh, lessons once a week into your inbox where people for a very low amount of money and because installing Drupal is free it's not going to cost them a second mortgage or they're not going to have to sell their kid to come up with that venture capital the second thing you want to be aware of you should be at be able to test the demand for your product prior to your launch. Now, not many people know how to use Google AdWords. Uh, there are services out there like Pay-Per-Click Ninja, Pay-Per-Click Classroom, Armin Moran. All of these people are excellent resources to go to to start an AdWords campaign. You can also hire people that will charge you anywhere from two to four thousand to ten thousand dollars to do that for you. Uh, but if you don't have a ten thousand dollar budget to come up with it's pretty hard to launch an AdWords campaign so this part of the section where it says go ahead and test your product if you can figure out a way 
to do this cost effectively, I would recommend that you do uh, go ahead and do a test run before you spend thousands of hours creating your product. <clears throat> Thirdly, you should be able to get it up and running as quickly and as cheaply as possible, and I totally agree with this. You uh, don't have these unrealistic expectations that you're going to be creating some incredible product that there's going to be 10 hundred million users that's going to buy it on the first day. So once you do a test run and you find that it's, it's successful for you and you can see the demand out there and that it's not a bad product, then you can definitely progress to the next step. I'm just going to stop here and I'm going to continue the next video series. So let's go ahead and have you go to easydrupaltutorials.com and check out the different tutorials that you can access to build a Drupal Web 2.0 website.